Hey everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to part two. This is the follow-up video. I hadn't originally planned on doing this, but after seeing all the comments and um, your feedback, really great feedback, I thought, you know, let's test it out on some cardstock because they can hold all day long, but do they warp and ripple? And so that's what we're going to be reviewing today. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. So a little reasoning behind why I didn't in the last video. Um, I thought that if it bonded really strongly, it would bond paper to paper. But really good points were brought up that it might be able to bond, you know, embellishments, heavy embellishments, but it could warp or ripple your paper based on the glue. So we're going to go in order that we had done our original sheet here just to go down and I chose 80 pound versus 80 pound because I feel like it was the thinnest of the card stocks that I have and I don't think a fair comparison would be to use um, like pattern paper that's really thin or copy paper because that liquid is obviously not going to hold up to that. Um, if this is going to work on 80 to 80 without ripples or without warping then it's most likely going to not give you ripples in things heavier like Bristol or watercolor paper. Okay, so we're going to start with the Dollar Tree uh, Crafters Square. So um, a lot of great comments have come up on the um, description below the video. Uh, once someone said that this used to be a really good type of glue, but now the, the makeup of it is not so good. And so um, that's good to know. I didn't know that. So we are going to, and you saw how much I put on there. So we are going to put that together. I should probably mark these or else this is just going to be a mad mess. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got that one done. We're going to put them aside and let them dry. Okay. Next one is going to be the Elmer's Craft Bond Memory Glue Pen. And I'm trying, when you use liquid adhesive to, you want to be, usually I'll go, I should do it the way I normally do it, huh? Usually I'll make like a rectangle to outline the paper, just so that we have sticking on all ends, and then just go down that way. Next is going to be Aline's Tacky Glue, which seemed to be a pretty popular choice. I think the one that got the most comments was the Art Glitter Glue, but this one um, I seem to get... One thing that was interesting to me about this glue makeup here was I forgot what I was going to say. This just happens sometimes. You know what I call that when I forget what I'm about to say? Or I forget things in general? It's called CRS. Can't remember stuff. <laughs> All right, so that's the Aline's Tacky Glue. Tombow Aqua. This one was noted by um, viewers to have warped the paper. I think I remember that happening because it's very liquidy. Hence the Aqua name, right? Tom. Next is going to be Elmer's School Glue, which we're not going to do because um, I didn't like it. I thought it was, it's good for kids, but it has no place in my craft room. All right, Elmer's Glue All, though. Let's try that one. I like the um, thin nozzle for such an inexpensive glue on here. I like that. That's good. And we're just going to place this 
down here. And I'm writing it backwards for no reason. No good reason there. Multimedia mat, which who else can't figure out how to say this name correctly? I say multi mat medium all the time. It's multimedia mat. With a pre precision tip, this might be a little bit easier. Um, might be, sorry, it might come out nicer. But because it's coming out kind of thick. We're going to go with it. And again, I have to say to everyone, uh, first of all, I have to say thank you for all the comments. I mean, this, this is an awesome conversation that we're having about glue. But I also have to say that none of this is a perfect science. I mean, I'm not on Mythbusters. You know, it's not a perfect science, but hopefully it has been helpful to kind of figure out, narrow down at least, narrowing down. I think that's important. All right, this is Tombow mono we'll just say green so we know this has been a favorite of mine for a very long time tombow mono um i really like the way that it comes out of the bottle that's always been really good for me i've never had any issues whatsoever um some people have had issues with it coming out i think as it gets to the bottom like any glue but um this is uh nouveau glue is another one that i don't have any issues with it does get um, as one commenter mentioned, gludgy, which I love that word. That word is going to be used, and I'm going to sneak it in other forms of life. <laughs> it's gludgy. Um, but yes, that, that it does get gludgy on the top. And again, I like the way this comes out. I use Nouveau uh, quite frequently. So I like the way that comes out of the bottle as well. And I'm showing you how the glue comes out of the bottle because that might be of use to you. Glossy accents. I've never in all of my crafty days used glossy accents to glue. But a lot of you said this clogs up on you a lot. So that's good to know. Oh, there's no, hey, there's no wiggle room there. You stick it, that's it. You're done. That is not straight. So that's good to know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. No time for wiggles. That's what Glossy has to say. There's no time for wiggling. This Lawn Fawn, um, let's see how this holds up paper to paper. What is happening with my Lawn Fawn? Okay, I have to tell you, I don't know if any of you guys are having the same issues, but this is hard to get out of the bottle. Like, I'm squeezing. Yikes. I don't think that's right. I think there's a problem with the bottle. Safety or pin out. I can't. That couldn't have been right. Squeezing like that. Um, It's right. Oh, my goodness gracious me. This is like, all right, I'm going to switch bottles and see if that helps. Okay, that definitely helps. There must be something wrong with that bottle. Um, however, for $15 or for $5 a bottle, that does not make my crafty heart happy. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. Right. Let's try next is going to be Elmer's Craft Bond, which I wasn't super happy about the way that this, my um, googly eye and my um, sequence fell off. That did not make me happy, especially with all these fancy words on the front of this bottle, <laughs> like. Resists bleed through, no run formula. I guess it doesn't say like super strong hold. <laughs> Never mind. I will ease up off you, craft bond. Okay, this is craft bond. So we've tried out three different Elmers. 
And then lastly, but definitely not least in comments or amount of money. I did figure out you got to screw on that top, so thank you everyone. And then the pin that came with it you want to use because it will keep the glue. It's stainless, so I guess it's going to keep the glue from turning a funky color. I'm loving the precision tip. I love how easy it comes out of the bottle. It really is. I am impressed by this glue. For a refill, 8 ounces of a refill is $15. So, I mean, that's $7.50 a bottle of 4, 4 ounces. So, after you get the first one, I guess you can do your, do your math. This one definitely got the most love, I will tell you that. Okay, so let's take a look now. It's been a few minutes. By the time we get to the bottom one, it'll be a fair amount of time for all of them. Okay, so let's look at the Dollar Tree craft square. So you can see here there's warping. There's, It's kind of squeezing through on that one. A little bit of warping there. And lots of bubbling. So you see that. I'm pretty sure you can see that on the film. Okay, so Dollar Tree. No. Um, Elmer's Craft Bond pen. Elmer's Craft Bond pen. Um, this was, uh, let me let me remind you of what they are. Elmer's Craft Bond pen right here. Um, hang on one second. Okay. Let's see, how did you hold up? Not terrible. Definitely not. This is going to be like the basis of comparison for crappy glue. <laughs> so, so, now Dollar Tree held up pretty well. Um, but, and let's remind everyone, Dollar Tree was the, uh, comes out kind of thick, but it did hold pretty well. But it's not good for your paper, in my opinion. Okay, anyway, we've already discussed you. Uh, craft Bond, it's not, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. There's a little bit right here, but it could be how thick I put it on. All right, let's see if it's holding. Yes, that's a good hold of paper. Okay, so there's that one. Meh, good, not great. Okay, this one is Aline's Tacky Glue. Okay, so this one, I can see bubbling here, but then it's super smooth and perfect here. So I'm going to guess this might be because of how thick I put it down. I'm going to do this one again. This one deserves another chance because um, all other attributes of the glue is great. So we're going to give that one another chance because that might be operator error. Do you think it's operator error on the Dollar Tree too? Is that not fair? Should I do another one? We'll do another one on those too. Okay. This one is the blue. That looks pretty good to me. How's it going to hold up? Looks like it bonded pretty well. All right. Elmer's glue all. This one is really good. Really smooth. Definitely. That looks good. I don't see any rippling or warping in that one. How did you hold my paper? Really good. See, I'm going to consider that a good hold when I have to peel like that to get it off. So, all right. I like the Elmer's glue all. That's a thumbs up. Multi matte medium. This came out pretty thick, I have to say, but it looks like it's smeared pretty nicely inside the paper. This is a good hold. This looks, this looks really smooth. Tiny bit of warping in there, but I don't think much to be upset about. Yeah, that's a great, great bond. Okay, I'll be with that one. Tombow Mono Green. Oh, I'm sorry. Multimedia Matte was this one. Let me show you that one. So that was the one we just reviewed. Tombow Mono. Sorry, I'm trying to do like five things at once in my head. Tombow Mono is darn near perfect. You can see that. There's like no warping hardly at all. It is, I can't even see the glue underneath. And again, this is one of those you can put on really thin, so it works really nicely. Get wiggle room and all that. 
So let's pull this one apart. That's a great, great hold. Okay. Nuvo, which is another popular one. Sorry. I had a craft show I was at, and I didn't want Nuvo glue to be confused. <laughs> Let me take off my washi tape. This is the Nuvo. This one is extremely similar to the green Tombow. The, again, no no um, rippling. Um, yeah, that's like the same exact great bond. Perfect. And I'm not surprised by those. Glossy accents. Glossy accents with no wiggle room. <laughs> Just stuck right down. So I have to say, I'm impressed there's no warping or um, rippling in the card stock. So that's really good. How did we hold? So we held pretty well. Yeah, I would say. That looks like a good adhesive, too. I just have a hard time using glossy accents for my everyday glue. It's not that cheap, and it has a multi-purpose. So, just my opinion. All right, Lawn Fawn, you gave me a hard time with one of your bottles. Um, I think this is pretty good. I want to say there's a tiny bit, if you can see it up here, but that's where I was kind of pushing it out to get, because I was having a hard time, so there's almost two layers up there. But the rest of it, if it was all over, I would say so. But the rest of it seems to be pretty good. Um, so, yeah, that's not that's not bad. But, again, I struggled with that one bottle. And that's $5. $5 for this bottle. So I, I will tell you that. Okay, Elmer's Craft Bond is this one. You didn't hold Elmer's Craft Bond. And... You're causing me lots of rippling and warping. So, I don't know what home you're about to find. But, yeah, see that? You can see those dips, those divots. Very, yeah. Not good. Not good for $9.95 a bottle. Not happy with you. You're in timeout. This one is going to be, the last one is going to be the art glitter glue. And there isn't like an ounce of warping. This is like a perfectly flat piece of paper. This is the best. The other ones, listen, again, not a science. And I'd have to pull out some kind of special tool to see how much they bend. So you have to take that into consideration when you're spending money. Is it worth the money? That's the question. However, comma, this one, there's no warping. And um, I could see why it's a favorite. Now let's see how well it bonded. And I was told it dries pretty quick, too. Bonded just as well. So, art glitter glue, you have impressed me. Okay, so now we kind of know. I'm going to do another one for the Aline's Tacky and the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I decided to actually retest all three of these. So, we're going to retest the liquid adhesive um, from the Dollar Tree. Now, remember, if from our first video, we have... Oh, it's, it is coming out. It's just, well, listen, that's the way it's going to come out because I don't have a fine tip applicator. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Right? And that's a true test of how it comes out of the bottle and then how it's going to play out. Um, but this one, remember, this one held pretty well. We're just, we had some issues with the paper. Um, as a reminder for the Aleens, the Aleens price wise, size wise, and hold for embellishments was great. We just had some warping in one piece of the. Aleens, so we're going to try to put this on again. And it does come out really, like, I'm sorry. I think that's the key right there is to kind of, let me show you. I know you're probably like, Mary, you're really trying to make this Aleens work. You know why? Because I'm cheap. <laughs> and I want a cheap one to work best. That's just how it is. I don't want to spend my money on glue. I want to spend my money on ink. Okay. And stamps. So we'll get that, that one dry. And then the Elmer's Craft Bond, which you're lucky I'm giving you a second chance. Craft Bond. You made me a little sad. I'm putting this on as thin as I can. I mean, there's there's just no way around it.
Okay, let's give those a second to dry. Okay, I feel like that was enough time. That I gave probably about 60 seconds to dry. So, Dollar Tree, let's look at you. Listen, Dollar Tree, are you trying me this morning? Look at this, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, this is no, no bueno. No bueno. Okay, so we have rippling. We have not, it's just, yeah, it makes the cardstock gooey. Now, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. If you bought it because you wanted to hold some things, listen, at this point, I'm hoping it holds. All right, you're done. Dollar Tree's out. Um, Aline's, much better. This came out much better this time. Again, am I biased because I want this to be work? Maybe. But I can also tell you that the first one that we did, Aline's Tacky Glue. Yeah, like I said, this one right here at the bottom, it was a little bit of warping, but not all the way throughout, which leads me to believe that I put it on too thick. So this one is much better. You see any warping there? It's pretty good. All right, so Aline's, you have moved up on my scale. You're okay. Elmer's Craft Bond. No, you're, uh, this is another one that's trying me right now. Um, see how the papers are like, it's almost like they're, I don't even know what to call that, but it's like going away from itself. And it also is, yeah, I don't really, we're going to go with the original on this one. Now the Craft Bond pen seemed to work okay, but the Craft Bond, um, how much Craft Bond, see? It's like all warpy, and it's the same one on the second go round. So I gave you another chance. You're going back in timeout. But which ones are our best? I would say the best ones. I'm going to say Art Glitter Glue came out really well. Tombow um, Aqua was surprised. This was the surprise of the day, was the Tombow Aqua. I did not think that was going to. Tombow Mono, that's in the top. Glue All, that was great. N disregard these, obviously. I picked those up. Nuvo. Okay. Honorable Mentions. <laughs> Glossy Accents. And Lawn Fawn. Uh, multimedia Matte is starting to look a little warpy. Can you guys see that? Okay, so you did not make the cut on bonding paper. Um, you know what? Side note, if, I, if you guys comment about my handwriting, <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have written a lot nicer for this video. Hopefully you get the idea, but this is real life. This is my handwriting. It's terrible. Okay. I just did some math because you guys recommended I do math. <laughs> Even though I'm not happy about doing math. I have to tell you, this is comparable in price. So four ounces of this art glitter glue is going to be $12 plus you can buy refills. This one is less than a little less than an ounce, 0.88 ounces for $3 and 17 cents. So each ounce of this would be $3. Plus you can, you know, refill cheaper. So I have just debunked myself. There you have it. Art Glitter Glue is probably the number one choice. All right. Um, and you don't go through bottles as much, so it's better for the environment. That's a pl definite plus. So I'm going to say um, Art Glitter Glue, number one. Look at that. That all just happened on TV. Art Glitter Glue is number one for price, for quality, for ease of out of the bottle, for um, you could option of a precision tip, uh, the hold that it does with the um, right down here, our glitter glue down here, plus the matte finish is a tiny bit shiny, but it's not shiny like this, for example. So overall, art glitter glue, you went out hands down, done. Other ones that are good, uh, Tombow Mono Green is good, Nuvo is good. I was very impressed with Glue All Elmers. So that was really good. This is a great price as well. Less than $2 a bottle for four ounces. So that's a little bit cheaper than the Art Glitter Glue. So that is going to be honorable mentions. Um, and then you guys saw what happened with the rest of them. Glossy Accents, although it bonds well, it gave me zero wiggle room. Uh, Lawn Fawn, I'm still a little salty about the bottle. Lean's Tacky Glue. I would say this is definitely 
in the mentionable category. This is the second one I did and it came out really well. This one, um, the big bottle I had was eight ounces. I just, if I had to split hairs, again, I'm splitting hairs. I would say, um, I, the way it came out of the bottle gave me a little bit of uh, hesitation. However, I really like this glue and I'm not giving up on it because I like the price. <laughs> you can get three eight ounce, where is my, I can't find my eight ounce bottle and I know I put it in the perfect place. Found you. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, look at this. This is eight ounces and I got it for one ninety seven. You can get three of these bottles on Amazon for six bucks. So, I mean, that's incredible deal. That's, you know what I mean? So if I had to choose, let me put my favorites in here and you guys, I'm not going to repeat myself over and over. You guys know why my favorites are my favorites. There we go. You guys are the winners. Where's your ribbons? And not everyone gets a trophy in this review. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again for this follow-up video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you think of this review, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.